Welcome back to Hadoop Exam Learning Resources. In this session, we will be go to some basic programming concepts of structure streaming. So these are the topics which we will be covering uh, here in this session. So we'll go through some pseudo code which we have already gone through, but I'll go, I'll break those that program in in parts and then go through this because this concept is very important to understand before start working on the structure streaming. So programming and basic concept conceptually streaming works on a table. Correct. That is we have seen it correct so whether you use the input as an input table or finally as a result table correct so I'll take you three uh, I'll take you through the input table and uh, result table as well hence you are writing query which is same as a batch processing so the query would remain as your batch processing query only so when you read the data that would be little different code and writing the data would be uh, like source and sync uh, code would be different but in between whatever you do transformation or something which if you want to do on static data then also you can do the same code use you can use it and if you want to use on the streaming solution you can use it it is now responsibility to spark to continuously update the table and apply query incrementally correct so that we have seen like my data is continuously received on the streaming solution so it is a spark responsibility to continuously process the code which you have given correct so this is your streaming data which is this is source which is you are getting it input so here in different color resume it you are getting one record here one record in the one different color so this is your spark st structure streaming so where you receive this data so this is a ro each row represent here and add it into the table so this is unbounded input table which we have discussed previously correct so this is each row would be added here as data from input stream will be added as a row into the input table input table would be referred as a data frame or data set only correct in in case of Scala it can be a data set uh, or if you are using Python then PySpark then it is a data frame only correct so, so now this is again same thing uh, uh, like with the additional information stream source here okay just a minute here this is stream source here this is input table each row would be added so this is unbounded input table more data would be added con or continuously data would be added so once you apply some transformation or some query on this correct here so what it would create it's a finally create a result table okay and that result table would be saved here so this your result table would also be uh, updated continuously based on the like data received correct so here two important things remember here one is a input table four four actually four thing you remember exactly component which would be used first is your source source can be like oh, just a minute where is my cursor okay so this is your source here correct this is from where the you will continuously receive the data then once this received this is all a streaming part correct this is input table your data would be received here you apply some transformation this is okay on this then third is the result table would be result table would be created over here and the data would be saved into the sync correct so here source input table result table and sync this four thing you have to remember exactly so this is uh, so your input table and result table is part of the your streaming solution structure streaming solution sync would be where you would be storing the data so let's take the previous sample code again uh, like this spark streaming we are uh, saying to read from the socket this uh, particular data you would be reading from the socket and uh, these are the details correct and the data frame name here is a he stream data okay Hadoop exam streaming data we would be creating so creating a data frame this data frame represents stream of input lines which are read from the socket correct so what is the input table here we have defined here this is the input table so this is the place where we would be reading the data from the stream that is your input table so he stream data would be your input table correct this is unbounded in input table continuously data would be added on this data frame correct so now this is spark structure streaming solutions responsibility to read continuously data from this you don't have to iterate it socket here this is socket here which is source here correct this is your source from where to read the data he words now we would be applying some transformation on this correct so that is he stream data is my data frame this is the input table apply some transformation i'll split it and create the words out of this so that is he words so this is simple transformation correct and you would create a new data frame you can apply as many transformation as you want on the data in between before doing any uh, output 
or something correct or putting into the sink or something correct so now this is my he count which is like in he words i'll do group by on value column and count the words we have seen in the previous session how to count the word correct so that would be done and that is he count correct so this is my result table finally because i want to save it into the some um, destination correct so that is he count would be a result table here so this is in our example here you see this is source we apply input a uh, good data goes to input table we apply some transformation and finally generate the result table and then result table would be saved into the sink here correct so this generating result running word count here so that would be your result table we have not yet started the query as i mentioned in previous session until and unless we call the start action on that correct so he stream data input table it contains only one column which is string type named value this is input ta input table each line coming from the stream will become row in the data frame or input table he count it is internally different than batch data frame because this is a streaming data from running word count of the stream the streaming data processing not yet started only setup is done as i mentioned now when you call on he count if you want to do some save or something so he count dot write stream output mode complete format is console and start now this would be started here you would be using the query here as a ref this is in your handle for this um sync whatever needs to be done okay this query will be started in the background and w once you start it correct and you would wait for termination it won't be immediately terminated so it how if you want to send your query into the background so you what you have to do this call query dot await termination and this is the query is your handle for your uh, final result table okay so what you can say here so query it is an handle for your streaming query sorry not result table it is a streaming queries uh, handle you would be using it and console is a sync here here we wanted to show this data as it is generated we wanted to show on the console correct so that is where it would be working as a sync here so this is your source you would get the data into the input table data frame here some apply this some transformation create result table and that result table would be saved into the sink correct so i'll give you as as many pictures as possible because it would be helpful for you to understand correct await termination it has to wait query from exiting and query remain active and run in the background correct I am moving fast because this concept uh, in deeper we have in previous session covered here so so that's the reason I'm moving little fast here as soon as query started spark will continuously check for new data from the connected socket a uh, socket if new data received spark will run it incrementally query that combines the previous running count depend on the mode what mode you are using it correct so now let's give you an example here okay at the t1 you would receive this data just a minute okay okay this is you are receiving the Hadoop and Spark two, two rows you have received at T1 time so you this is your input table contains two rows Hadoop and Spark in it and if you apply transformation what it would generate Hadoop one time and Spark is also one time and that is your result table and that would be printed on the console your sync is concerned and after T2 uh, at one minute or whatever interval you would process it and the next data you receive in the same line tensor and kinesis correct it was in the two different line now it is a single line two words you are receiving correct so uh, this is tensor and kinesis correct so this is hadoop and spark and tensor and kinesis this is your input table now correct this has this three records now this three records when we apply the transformation do the word count this would be the result would be generated and printed so this is your result table hold this now this here you are receiving a t3 timestamp you are receiving this two rows each row containing two word two words in it kinesis and hadoop 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 and you would do the this is added as a new two lines into the input table and then final applying the transformation it would be generating this count correct word count kind of thing how to four times kinesis two times tensor one time and spark and then print it onto the console so this is the example like i have taken it from uh, in the website if somebody visit hadoopexam.com so on what search criteria they are coming up onto the hadoop ex uh, hadoopexams.com uh, what keywords they are using to search the website correct so this is one example here like 
somebody is searching for kinesis hadoop somebody is hadoop hadoop searching so this kind of keywords they are searching on the google search and we are receiving every minute or every seconds this kind of words and splitting like how many times the words would be used to search the website kind of thing so this is one very trivial example there are very complex use cases of the streaming solution but you need to know the fundamentals correct so important points to remember here is spark does not materialize the entire table so if you see this this input source continuously data added if it tries to materialize everything then it is a what it does it mean is exactly in the next line you would understand like once i have done the word count and discard this why we why we need it here correct so that is the point here so if i'm done this word count discard this result i have this result in this uh, result table correct so that is similarly this just to show in a picture i kept this but in the internal spark knows i don't need this data anymore correct so it's once it is processing it does if this result is generated why need i this to discard this result similarly so they did the unnecessary don't Uh, save this until and unless you ask for it to do that correct so spark does not need it that is what it is saying it reads new data from streaming source process it incrementally to update the result once processed it will discard the source data it only keep minimal required intermediate state we'll talk about the intermediate state how it maintains kind of thing if you need to reprocess the data how it can do this this more complex thing we we'll discuss later on so uh, for example intermediate counts only all the data received are not required correct so that's uh, Uh, all about in the session. I uh, so that is what the uh, uh, like override from the previous concept we have learned. So this is like re somewhat re repeating uh, kind of thing and etc. We have covered. So I hope you have cl now cleared input table, result table, so saying kind of thing. Correct. So and when you do the hands on, you will get more detail about this. Correct. So thanks, thanks for watching, and I hope you like the session. So thank you. I'm stopping now.